Mm. So you can't fall asleep easily? Do you lie in the bed for hours, staring at the ceiling? How many times did you think of a magic way which could help you sleep instantly? Maybe, sometimes you do fall asleep, only to wake up feeling even more tired. Can happen with anyone, and has happened with me too, but not anymore. What if I told you that tonight could be different? No more counting sheep, no more endless scrolling on your phone to pass the time. In this video, we will look at some real and natural ways to fix your sleep. Things like simple changes to your bedtime routine, or some easy to find herbs and foods which can help you sleep better. We'll try to cover your need to start sleeping well, tonight and for once and for all. All right, let's start with some easy stuff. We'll set up your bedroom so it practically begs you to fall asleep. A lot of us don't realize just how much the environment we sleep in affects the quality of our rest. We are going to talk about a few simple changes you can make in your bedroom to turn it into a perfect sleep zone. These are quick fixes you can try tonight. Trust me, they do make a difference. Let's start with temperature. It's hard to fall asleep when you are too hot or too cold. Your body actually sleeps best in a room that's on the cooler side. Something around 16 to 20 degrees Celsius. But it sounds a bit chilly, doesn't it? The science behind it says keeping your room cool helps your body drop its core temperature, which is one of the signals that the brain intercepts as it's time to sleep. If your room feels too warm, try cracking a window, turn down the thermostat, or use a fan. If you tend to get cold, keep a blanket nearby. Sleeping in a cooler room with a blanket on works better than sleeping at just the optimal temperature that you feel right. Your body winds down naturally. Next, let's shift to the lighting. Have you tried sleeping with the light on or in a room that is naturally lit from a bright street lamp shining through your window? Never a great feeling. Light can send signals to your brain that it's still daytime and tends to mess with your body's natural sleep cycle. You would want to block out as much light as possible. It shouldn't be hard. Use dark blinds and curtains. If not, invest in a good sleep mask and it can make a big difference. I'll link few in the description for you. If your room is too bright, your brain is too awake. Make it dark and you'll already have way to better sleep. Noise is another big one. I mean, nobody sleeps well with random sounds going off. It could be traffic, your neighbors, a snoring partner. That could be worse. What could be a few easy tricks to fix this? If your environment isn't too quiet, earplugs can definitely help. But not everybody likes them. You may not want to be completely cut either. Maybe you have a toddler sleeping in the next room or someone in the house who isn't doing too well. Blocking out all the noises may not work then. Here, instead of making it completely silent, we can rather introduce a steady background noise, which helps shielding out abrupt unnecessary noises like walls cracking or rumbling in the pipes. Try a white noise machine. It works like magic. I use it every night, at home, in a hotel, anywhere I go. I use it even for my afternoon power nap sometimes. There are heaps of them available. Let me also link a few of them for you. If not a machine, nowadays you can even play some steady noise on your phone. I prefer a machine though as it does not keep my phone busy. Otherwise, use a simple fan. If it's cold, you can still switch on a pedestal or table fan facing it away from you. Then, most of us like a bright home. But, they can be a problem when you are preparing to sleep. Dim the lights of your house an hour before sleeping. This helps the brain relax. Try to avoid white light in bedroom. Yellow lights work better. Consider using lamps or even lighting a few candles for a soft and cozy vibe. Lighting plays a big role in how easily your body shifts into sleep mode. Lastly, let's talk comfort. Your bed itself. If your mattress is lumpy or your pillows feel like bricks, no wonder you can't sleep well. Invest in a mattress and pillows that work for you. We spend around one third of our life sleeping, so it's an investment worth every time. Everyone is different, but finding what feels good for you is key. Maybe that's a firm mattress with a soft pillow or the opposite. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. This is your sleep after all, so don't be afraid to make your bed a priority. Okay, your bedroom is fixed now. Let's look at some herbal remedies. These are simple, natural options you can try without needing any pills or prescriptions. We'll look at some easily available herbs. Some of these might already be there in your kitchen. Let's start with a classic, chamomile tea. I'm sure you must have heard of it already as a go-to way for relaxing. You know why? Because it works. Chamomile has some mild sedative properties. It helps calm your nerves and relax your muscles. 
try sipping on a cup of chamomile tea about 30 minutes before bed. Shouldn't be hard. Next up, lavender. Lavender is a multitasker. You can use it in different ways. Like you can put some drops of lavender on your pillow as an essential oil or use it in a diffuser or even as a tea. Lavender reduces anxiety and stress, which is a big reason people struggle with sleep in the first place. Imagine you're lying in your bed and there is a soft scent of lavender in the air. Your brain and body will feel relaxed. It's simple and it smells good too. Now, if you need something a little stronger, try valerian root. Okay, I see some Game of Thrones fans smile. This herb has been used for centuries to help with insomnia. It's not as well known as chamomile or lavender, but highly effective. Valerian root works as a mild sedative. It can help you not only fall asleep faster, but also stay asleep longer. You can try valerian root as a tea or in supplement form. Be careful though, this tea has a strong earthy taste. It may not be for everyone. If you're someone who has trouble staying asleep, valerian root might be your formula. Let's see one more, passion flower. This one is helpful if your mind tends to race at night. Passion flower helps to calm the mind and reduce anxiety. It makes it easier to relax into sleep. Like all others, it's available as a tea and it has a mild, pleasant taste. So it's a nice option if you're looking for something different. Okay, enough of these herbs. Now let's talk about your diet. Yes, your diet. What you eat, when you eat, it can have a big impact on how well you sleep. First up, magnesium. Magnesium helps you relax your muscles and calms your nervous system. If you're not getting enough magnesium in your diet, you might have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Try almonds, spinach, pumpkin seeds, and even dark chocolate, of course in moderation. Eat few soaked almonds before bed. Add some spinach to your dinner. It can really help your body relax and get into sleep mode. You have probably heard of tryptophan, the same stuff in Turkey that makes you feel sleepy after a big Thanksgiving meal. Tryptophan is an amino acid. It is known to produce serotonin, which your body then converts into melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that tells your body it's time to sleep. Try bananas, eggs, and soak nuts for a dose of tryptophan. A banana with some homemade peanut butter makes a perfect light snack before bed. It gives your body the ingredients it needs to naturally help you fall asleep. It would be worth to mention complex carbohydrates, which just like tryptophan, produce serotonin, which then turns into melatonin. Well, you know the drill. These are things like whole grains, oats, and brown rice. A small bowl of oatmeal or some whole grain crackers before bed can help boost your melatonin levels, making it easier for your body to relax and fall asleep naturally. Just keep it light because eating too much before bed can work in the opposite way and keep you awake. There is another thing which is as important as what we eat, timing. When you eat matters as well. Eating a big, heavy meal right before bed can actually mess with your sleep. Your body is too busy digesting that food. This can stop you from relaxing fully and winding down for sleep. So, if you are hungry late at night, go for something light and easy to digest. Eat a handful of nuts or a small bowl of oatmeal or even that banana with peanut butter we just mentioned. Skip the pizza or the huge burger. You'll thank yourself and me in the morning. Now you must be thinking, I'm talking about sleep and food and how come I haven't mentioned caffeine yet? If you're struggling to fall asleep, take a look at how much coffee, soda or tea you're drinking, particularly in the afternoon. Caffeine can stay in your system for hours. It can keep your mind and body active for long after that last sip. Not everyone is affected by caffeine in the same way. Some people are more sensitive to it than others. If you are one of those sensitive types, it's best to cut it off by lunchtime. Try switching to herbal teas in the afternoon or evening. Trust me, it can make a world of a difference. Okay, the environment is set, you have the herbs and you are taking care of your diet now. But what about your daily habits? Sleep is affected by how you spend your day, especially those last few hours before bed. Let's see some examples. Let's start with a bedtime routine. A routine tells our brain it's time to sleep. Something like how little kids get this signal through bedtime stories. You don't need anything fancy, only a few changes with things you do every night. Like you could start with turning off screens at least an hour before bed. Do something relaxing like reading or listen to calm music. Following this routine will make your body realize that it's time to sleep. Then limit screen time before bed. I know you have been told this so many times. Hearing something again and again doesn't necessarily help. But seriously, limiting screen time before bed can be a game changer. Phones, tablets, TVs, they all emit blue light, which tricks your brain into thinking it's still daytime. 
and that messes with your melatonin production. You already know how melatonin aids to sleeping. Cut off screens at least 30 minutes to an hour before bed. If you absolutely need your phone, switch it to night mode. Night mode reduces blue light. Otherwise, read a book or listen to a podcast. You'll notice the difference. Another great way to prepare for sleep, a little bit of movement maybe. Nothing too intense though. Do some gentle yoga or some light stretching. This will help release any tension that you have built up throughout the day and tells your body it's time to relax. It's important to keep it light. Heavy cardio or lifting weights right before bed can actually wake you up. A few minutes of gentle stretching or some deep breathing is enough. Talking of deep breathing, mindfulness and relaxation techniques can save your day or in this case, night. Sometimes you are exhausted, but your brain won't turn off. Focusing on your breath can calm your mind and get you ready for sleep. Try the 478 breathing technique. Breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven seconds, and exhale slowly for eight seconds. Repeat this a few times, and you'll feel your body start to relax. It's like hitting the reset button for your brain. Mm. We did cover a lot today. Remember, a good sleep isn't just about feeling rested the next day. It's also about giving your body and mind the time they need to recharge and stay healthy. Try out these tips. See what works best for you. I commit to get you ready to wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more such tips. I am planning a series of videos around related topics like the science behind sleep, why is it so powerful, the purpose of dreams and what they mean and other interesting stuff. Till then, rest well, sleep tight, stay fresh, good night.